Hey guys, last video from New Zealand. Uh, it was a really nice trip. It's been a good ride. 2019, November, and hopefully we can go back someday. So this one is uh, an incredible visit at the Tamaki Maori village. Um, thank you so much for hosting us, for sharing your culture with us. Um, it is uh, one of the traditional Maori villages um, just outside Rotorua on the North Island of New Zealand. And basically you get to kind of experience uh, the old way of life of their, their culture and their community. And you get to see a little bit of an insight to the Maori people and experience it with them. So it's pretty cool. You will see a familiar face if you guys are a fan of the New Zealand streaming community. You will see Brox H. Uh, he's a member of this community. And yes, we did reach out and confirm that it's all totally cool to uh, to show this. Uh, and even though you know it is it is going to be a lot shown in this video, it is definitely something you want to experience for yourself. It's a, a many hours of yeah, an incredible experience to to see for yourself and as i said thank you again and uh yeah we hope you you really enjoyed we're not going to voice over this one because it has its own um sound and explanations so we wanted to give you the full um you know audio visual <laughs> experience hope you enjoyed thanks guys Inside our fortified village of Tawanga Herepa to one of our various whare kura. Can we say whare kura? Whare kura. Which is a house of learning. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to school. <laughs> Within our house of learning, we dedicate to the hāngi and also the weaving of our people. So I'll be giving you an insight into the hāngi, so in days of old, right up to the current day, so this was the method we used to cook our food. Beginning at the bottom, picking a pit out of the ground, stacking our timber on top of each other with our last material, being our river stone. When this process was done, the villagers would collect this vegetable here, we call the hue. Can we say hue? Hue! Which is a calabash. So what we would do is cut the top off, remove the seeds inside and utilise it to carry our water. So some villagers would take this vegetable down to our nearest water source and the ones who stayed behind would begin to prep our honey. Gathering dry branches, stacking them underneath our hangi right to about halfway, and then setting the whole thing on fire. 
So we can imagine the entire harmony being set ablaze, making our rocks nice and hot at the same time. Fun and games in particular, our stick games. Three variations to share with you this evening. The first one is the tirako. This is used to manoeuvre and manipulate about the torso of the body to help strengthen it, strengthen many parts of the arms, the wrist, forearms and the upper arm for the manipulation of our handheld weapons. All right? Now that's the tirako. Second game, much shorter sticks. We call, <coughs> we call titi toria, played in pairs up to large numbers. Two way <laughs> From player to player. Yeah. Yeah. And the hopes that no one drops a stick round the walls. Yeah. 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 Right, everyone repeat after me. Maui! Maui, Maui is left. Next word, Mato! Mato! And Mato is right. Maui left, Mato is right. On my command, you move. Maui! 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 <laughs> now that we've established Maui is left, let's try Mato. Mato! Mato! Okay. All right. Here we go. On my command. And remember, Maui we left Mato. 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 straight into it. I believe your chief has a few words for his truck. Chief, take it away. Can all the men come on down here now? You heard all, the all the men. Chief. All the men. All okay. the men. Get all the men. This side. Down here now. Get this side. Get this side. Get this side. All the men. Now. Perfect. All right, gentlemen. Thank you for kindly volunteering your services. It's not that far out. Where are you from? Uh, Toronto. All right, knees, <laughs> hands on your hips, chest out, stomachs in. I said stomachs in, one, two, three. Letting out a big loud, hey, hey. hey. All right, we're going to try all those movements at one. Handshaking to the side. Come on, hey. hey. First action, bring my potky, slapping the thighs. All right, next, come on. Forward, Takaya, stomping the right foot. I'll be a mirror image. Now, believe it or not, gentlemen, you are multitasking. Congratulations. <laughs> All right, first action is to go like this. Now, what we're going to do, there's one more action. Uh, that is known as the pukana. The pukana, the bulging of the eyes and protruding of the tongue. So? The sun correctly so? should look and sound like this. Pukana. <laughs> All right, we're going to give that a try. Three, two, one, pukana. <laughs> Perfect. I hope you catch this on camera. Slap in the thigh. They represent the ancestor for this area. Much like um, a senior lecturer in our universities, uh, we will put a photograph uh, on the wall and that will represent. Uh, roughly three to four hours. By then, you should be well and truly started. <laughs> um, once that is done, you peel back all the layers. And your food should come out looking a little something like this. Can you say, ooh? ooh. Can you say, ah? ah. 
Um, so, on the top here, we do have your vegetables, the trays on the bottom, have your meat, okay? Now, this is just a tease, just to whet the appetite.